Hey, welcome back. We're in the book of Exodus today. We're flipping over into chapter 15. Uh, God's people have passed now through the Red Sea. The Egyptians came through after them, but now they've been destroyed. And so now there's going to be a song in the next three or four mornings. Uh, we're going to break it off into pieces so that it'll fit in smaller chunks here. But today, let's take first chapter 15, verses 1 to 3. Then Moses and the sons of Israel sang this song to the Lord and said, I will sing to the Lord, for he is highly exalted. The horse and its rider he has hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. This is my God, and I will praise him. My father's God, and I will extol him. The Lord is a warrior. The Lord is his name. So we're just taking a small chunk here of the song here at the front, but here's a way that we don't often think about God. But what is it? The Lord is a warrior. Think about that. The person who you and I serve, who we choose to serve as we follow Jesus, Jesus himself is a warrior. We often think of him as the lamb, but he's also the lion. He is prince of peace, but he also comes to bring a sword. The Lord is a warrior. We serve a warrior. And now he's not just a random oppressor. He's not just someone who's looking for people to pound into the sand. Not, not even in the least. He is trying to deliver his people, deliver us to liberty, deliver us to freedom, freedom from sin. And now the Egyptians had been externally oppressing God's people. They have uh, done everything they could to stop God's purpose, but God prevailed and is delivering them now into the wilderness. He's bringing them towards Israel. And really, the only thing that can stop things now is their own stubborn will. If God's people will interpose, put in between themselves and God their own stubborn will, that's gonna be a problem. But God is trying to bring them along. He's trying to educate them. But we want to remember here that the God we serve, among all the other elements, yes, he's a prince of peace. Yes, he wants us to take, to take away our burdens and, and give us so many good things. But for those who go against God and against his children, he is a warrior. He is on our side. He will help us against those who oppress. And he will help us, even if we are sort of like self-oppressed, he will deliver us from sin if we just seek him. If we ask him to give us a gift of repentance, he will give us a gift of repentance and help us to draw closer and closer and closer to him. So don't forget, don't let up, don't be ashamed of or sad that your God is a warrior. He is a good God and he's on your side and he is the ultimate warrior of all. We serve a mighty God who has our good in mind. Okay, we'll carry on with the Song of Moses here in Israel tomorrow morning with the next section. Bye-bye.